So I must say that fort was rather interesting, even though it wasn't exactly how I thought it would turn out like. And now we'll just go right into the city and show you what's around the streets. Give you just as the atmosphere. See the rustic charm there and the famous Portuguese tiles, mosaic style. And there's some artwork here on the wall, which is rather interesting, which is akin to what we will come across later on in this vlog series in Funchal in the old town, which I discovered when I was last here, of course. And to my right, you can see in the distance the houses up on the hills and this must be the main city church. And I just checked the time, that is the correct time on the clock there. And this gentleman, the statue here must be an important individual. I'll look him up later and put the obligatory captions as and when. And another thing I've noticed around here, you have these gnarly trees as well, <laughs> which have a bit of character to them. And since we're next to it, we may as well have a look inside this church. So here we go. And the thing about these Portuguese churches, they are always full of splendor inside, as you can see. Wow. I'm always enamored by things like this, even though I'm not strictly a Christian. But still, you have to admire things like this. Yes, I know I'm whispering, I know I'm talking quietly, but <laughs> when you're in a place like this, you feel compelled to do so. Have a look over here. Depiction of Jesus there, with the cross on his shoulder. And that must be Our Lady, Mary. And post-crucifixion. on this impressive but rustically dilapidated building but still I love it I've just taken a turn on the right after that road which we were on and there's a church there in the background so we'll flip round and I found what looks like a lovely walk along the river which I think it's the river Mashiko if I'm not mistaken named after the city so we'll have a bit of a wander down here so I've stopped off at a coffee shop which I saw on Google Maps comes highly recommended because I've ordered the galao which would be the equivalent of a cappuccino but they don't have the cream in it. They have cream and cappuccino over here and we're at Cafe Paraiso I think it's pronounced and terrible with its pronunciations so I'll let you know in a moment my coffee rating will come out. And so this is it here. I love the presentation of it and the way that it's not all mixed in and even a biscuit to boot too. And so here's the taste test. Well, it is extra hot. As you know, I liked it. Ooh, definitely you can taste the coffee. Really strong is how I like it, of course. It's full of flavor. Second sip, yes. In fact, the coffee is overpowering the milk, which isn't a bad complaint, but. But before I can give a truer rating, which I will put in the caption below, I'm gonna try a few other coffee shops during my time in Madeira, so by the time this vlog goes out, you will see the rating in the caption. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. 
and we're in Santana on the north side of Madeira Island. And as you can see, it's famous for its traditional houses going back a few hundred years. And we'll take a closer look at them. And when I arrived here a few moments ago, they were constructing this blue ribbon structure. I don't know what it's about, but I was waiting for the workmen just to finish up because they were making a bit of a racket with the knocking before I would enter this area. So let's have a look at these houses. Let's go inside, see what's there. It looks like they've turned this bit into a tourist information section. And the house next to it to the right. It's more of a gift shop too. And this one here must be a private residence from the looks of things, but it doesn't have the traditional colors on it. This is actually a lot bigger than I thought. I only thought there was only going to be a couple of houses there, but it's like a mini village in itself. And one of the houses, you can even buy poncha in it. So let's have a look at this one. Looks like another gift shop. And folks, it's poncha time. It's only one euro and I'm choosing the passion fruit. Okay. Obrigado. And this is the end product. Saúde, as they say here. Cheers. And just at the back of the houses, you can see the view of the north coast and the deep blue colour of the sea. The thatched roofs, of course. And for your convenience, too, and they're pretty clean. <laughs> So the final house, which is behind me, you'll find separated from the main group and it's on the other side to the right of the city hall. Definitely makes a change with the sun being out. <laughs> But it's one of the locals here, so <laughs> he's guarding this house. So what shall I call him? Pedro. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Boa tarde. How are things with you here? <laughs> There's a few of these houses actually dotted around the actual village itself, so it's worth walking around just to see them. Just gotta love that artwork there on the wall. We're now at Rocha de Novia, just a couple of miles north of Santana. And we're gonna have a look at this cable car just in front of us. But from the looks of things, I suspect that it's closed. Could be closed for maintenance. That looks like it, but, 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 can I say it? Look at that. We're not disappointed with the view here. There's a waterfall there, little islet there a beach where I guess the cable car takes us down and way in the distance that's Sao Lorenzo what looks like islands it's a peninsula there yes unfortunately it's closed for maintenance as it says in the sign there which is unfortunate because I really did want to have a gander down at the bottom which as a bonus, it looks like there's a holy well of sorts with the typical Portuguese styling of Sao Pedro.
my goodness, this is heavenly. He just does not want to leave me alone. <laughs> He's funny.